Today we're checking out Love Bites. Um, Love Bites uh, is an all-female rock band from the Far East. Uh, their vocalist is Asami. On guitar and piano is Miyako. Uh, she plays the Dean guitar. The other guitarist is Midori. Uh, on drums is Haruna. And on bass in this video is Miho. Uh, she since left the band in August of 21. And Fami has replaced her as the new bassist. Uh, this is from the Ride for Vengeance tour in 2021. Uh, and it was, uh, it is live and it's called Don't Bite the Dust. I think it's a great recording of them live. And I believe in, in my heart that this is the best dueling guitarist pair in the East, if not on the globe. Um, I've often compared this band to Judas Priest. Asami's vocals are, you know, she can get into the stratosphere whenever she wants. And then combine that with Miyako and Midori. Um, <clears throat> they're dueling guitars interweave. They have great guitar tone. It, 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 they counterbalance one another in the sound. It's just perfect, absolutely perfect. Um, Miyako plays uh, a PV head on <laughs> orange cabinet, which I've never seen that combination before, but wow, it sounds great. And... Um, Midori's tone is just awesome metal rock. So I think you're going to like this band. Um, and we're going to give them a listen right now. Okay, and here we go. This is Don't Bite the Dust from the Vengeance Tour. <laughs>
The talent pool on this band is so deep you could drown in it. Um, they are not near as big as they should be. Uh, and they're big. But they're, I mean, they're God level when it comes to music. And their live performances are every bit as good as anything that they engineer in the studio. Um, maybe better because the excitement is uh, high and the atmosphere is electric whenever they play. Um, how about Midori leaning back with that guitar all the way? And, oh, that looked great. I mean, just really classic rock strutting there. And I love that kind of thing when, in a band when they are into what they're doing. Um, and the counterbalance to that is Miyako. She is so serious when she plays, but God, she is such a shredder. And we're going to hear uh, more from both of these guitarists, uh, some, some of the more complex work. One of my favorite songs by them is from Clockwork Immortality. It's called Mastermind. Oh, my gosh. K.K. Downing and Glenn Tipton could have written that song, uh, you know, themselves. I just... I just find this band to be overwhelming in their guitar work, in their songwriting, and in their live performances. So we're going to see a lot more of Love Bites. And why don't you put your suggestions in the comments for me? Let me know what you'd like to hear so we can start playing some of that, all right? And uh, anything is acceptable. I play everything from the 50s and maybe even before if you've got a, you know, if you've got a hankering all the way up to now. Uh, and it doesn't have to be Eastern music. I'm focused there because we're about to start the Baby Metal series, and I would like for you to see what that did in terms of opening a door for me, and uh, it, when it did, I saw all these other bands, and so, you know, it's just, uh, it's kick-started my love for music again, and that's the point of this, the whole point of this channel. So, Thanks again for dropping by Rock Candy, where we're sometimes hard, but always sweet. I'll check you later. Bye now. <laughs>